Hi everybody, this is Phil from Tornado Demolition Limited here. We're just doing a house inspection here for asbestos only. Uh, we're not uh, covering any lead paint at the moment. This inspection involves uh, taking samples of material that are suspect of asbestos. As you can see, this house has uh, cement shingles here. These are usually 30 to 40 percent asbestos. So when you come across the shingles on these homes, be very careful not to disturb them or not to breathe the dust in. Uh, you probably need coveralls, respirators, you got to hose it down and bag it properly. Uh, you can see, uh, zoom in here, there's a nice little window here. This window itself has a putty here. That putty here around this window frame usually or can contain asbestos. Percentages could be 1-5% to 5 and it could be as high as 30-40% to 40 depending on you know how concentrated that it is. And also the roof here itself. There's roof shingles on here. This one is a totally new roof here. Looks like it's only been done in the last two or three years. Sometimes these shingles come back. I usually find out the shingles that are really hard to break, they almost snap and they're fairly thick. Those are usually asbestos. But uh, roofing shingles itself are pretty rare. You know, uh, out of maybe 100 houses or 200 houses, you might see one, but very rare. Uh, most roofs are like 10, 15 years old. They're long gone. We're going to run a house here. I'm going to do a little walk through the property here. Here's another close up on the window putty itself. This putty, like I say, can be asbestos. So if you're doing uh, crafts and making things, just be aware of uh, this putty here. It can be, uh, can be asbestos. And if you're not sure, you want to redo your windows and uh, maybe uh, re refit them and stuff, you can take that sample of that putty to any laboratory that does handles asbestos. I'm going to walk around the property here. You know, pretty straightforward property. You got these shingles, I'll give you a close up of the shingles. The shingles are usually nailed in here. It's just the shingle, and usually they go to the edges here. And sometimes this caulking here can be also asbestos. So I'll walk around the house here. Sometimes there's electrical things here, could be asbestos also. See where the cap joins there? Depending on how old the house is, the service is fairly new. Newer than what I've seen before. But anyways, here, uh, around the back here of the house. You can see the hatch for the attic is there. So this particular house has asbestos in the back half of the attic. It's called vermiculite. Looks like a kitty litter. A gold-colored, gravelly substance like kitty litter. It usually contains uh, actinolite about 1 to 5%. Most cases it might even be under a percent, but anything, any any amount is asbestos. So when you come across that stuff, looks like a kitty litter with a gold gravelly substance. You can almost bet on it being asbestos. I'm just gonna throw my light on here. A little bit light here. Okay, so we're looking at this tape here. This is the tape you see on furnace joint pipes. This tape itself is asbestos, usually 30 to 40 percent, as high as 70 to 80 percent, depending on how much cellulose and how much asbestos product is in there. So we're walking the basin here. You can see there's more tape everywhere. All this white tape will be asbestos, guaranteed. So, uh, you know, the remedy is if you have to do any work around your basement is if this stuff gets wet, saturated with water, like a little bit of soapy water, it's not a danger to you. But uh, removing asbestos is illegal unless you uh, consult your WorkSafe BC. So. Make sure whatever you do around your home is, is up to code. Sometimes you're on this chimney vent pipe. There used to be a pipe here from the chimney for the furnace heat stack. And what happened is this is patched with, with just normal cement, but sometimes it does come asbestos. Usually asbestos material looks like uh, white flaky, uh, fairly thick flaky or a dark looking color. Usually will be asbestos. This one is just uh, a pure cement. And also, uh, you know, with these older homes here, you can see sometimes the wiring, there's issues with wiring, you know, the older cloth wire could be asbestos, but, you know, that's usually uh, the very old houses here. This one, so, well, the knob and tube especially, say knob and tube, but this is a newer wire, it's been retrofitted here to do uh, some code here. Here's some leftover asbestos shingles here, are left in the basement here. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs here, so I'm going to turn the video off here in a second to save some time here. So what I'll do is uh, 
This basement here is unfinished basically. There's no real issues except furnace tape here. There's leftover shingles, especially shingles laying around. Uh, also before I leave here, this cast iron bell housing pipes will have lead for sure, but sometimes they're packed with asbestos material, which is really hard. You cannot test them because you can't get into it. So usually they get separated through the demo waste. Anyways, I'll come back in here a minute here and I'll do part two of uh, the upstairs here now. Thank you. Okay, this is part two here. We're in the upstairs main floor level here. This house is all lath and plaster. There's no drywall here, so the drywall materials here aren't here, but uh, some of these houses like this, especially if they're done in the late 60s and 70s and they have drywall, usually the compound, the mud that uh, goes on the joints, the corner beads, excuse me, that, that will probably have asbestos if they're from the 70s to the early 80s. This house is a lath and plaster, you can see. Here were samples taken here. This one has no insulation in the wall, so there's no chance of any vermiculite or other asbestos materials in the wall. So we sample that. Also, uh, when you see these old fireplaces, you see these real fancy bricks. Sometimes these bricks itself or the actual tile itself could be asbestos shing, like asbestos material. I've seen it one or twice, one or twice, uh, pretty rare, rare occurrences. Also, we have, uh, here's her, like, uh, for instance, uh, this is the kitchen here, the floor. This floor is obviously brand new. There's a lower subfloor here, which is actually a painted fur floor, which is no asbestos or there's no tiles there, there's no vinyl. Usually 9x9s or 12x12 tiles may be asbestos. Sometimes a 9x9 tile may have a, a black tar paper backing, which is a lot rarer, which is usually not asbestos. But especially uh, if you see a, a 70s funking powder with the flowers and all that, it's done from 70s to early early 80s, you have good chances that the backing could be as high as 70-80% asbestos, so be, be very careful not to scratch it. Ideally, you're, you're supposed to pull the whole subfloor up without disturbing as much as little. So we sampled another here. This is basically a lath and plaster house. Here's the washroom here. There is uh, just a painted floor here. It looks like the tub was taken out. Someone done a partial renovation to this house here, but did it looks like they never totally completed it. They started and kind of left the project and sold the property. So above the ceiling here, we know there's a, in the back section is asbestos insulation guaranteed. Also uh, under these hardwood floors, there could be a white paper. Uh, and it's not a wax, it's not a cellulose paper. It's usually looks like a, like the furnace tape, a kind of a white, white grayish paper. That could be asbestos, so be careful on these subfloors, especially in very old houses. Here's the old tub they left behind here. Also, there's a texture on the ceiling here. I'll see if you yeah, see that texture here. Could be an asbestos texture. Um, this was actually laid on later. This was probably could have been done, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, even right. But anyways, uh, let's pan back out here. So this house is very, very basic here. Not a lot of asbestos issues. Like there could be more items, but this is still. Uh, I can see for sure there is going to be insulation here. There's furnace tape, there's uh, plaster looks suspect actually in this house here, it's just the colors of the plaster. Usually they're uh, a fairly thick layers and they've got a real thick cream coat, like an outer cream coat. This, this layer is really gray and off cream color so it looks kind of unusual but anyway so be suspect with these vinyl floors especially when they're you know funky patterns and colors and marble colors and geometric patterns, especially if, if you know your house is built in 1970, you're guaranteed uh, 70, late 60s, like 68, 69, to about 80. You're looking at asbestos drywall usually, in the corner beads, you're looking at textured ceilings, lots of vinyl floors, possible furnace tape, possible insulation. Then, you know, especially exterior houses, you'll worry about stucco. Asbestos usually is found in stucco, uh, pretty rare in the west coast here in, in Vancouver. I know Eastern Canada and the United States, plaster and stucco is more common. So if you take on any uh, building pro uh, projects, you know, if you're disturbing any materials that could be uh, pre-19, say, 1985, then, you know, you better do some sampling. All you do is you take a small sample. You can wet it down. You can put a little screwdriver and wet it down, pop a little sample out, take it to any laboratory that handles asbestos. Um, don't just give them a piece of drywall, give them the corner bead. The corner bead is where the asbestos is. The drywall is not containing asbestos, it's the actual mud applied to the corners and joints. 
So make sure that you're given the right materials. And also like vinyl floors, it's not that top layer is the vinyl, the bottom, the backing is the gray. The gray substance is your asbestos. Also, um, sometimes you pull up a tile floor and that black residue could be asbestos. So there's all a lot of, there's so many million things that could be asbestos, but I just covered a few basic things here for the homeowners if they're doing work around their projects and just to be careful. But, you know, the biggest concerns are you know, drywall, you know, stuff that you're really disturbing, stucco, a lot of friable materials, right? Even the old boilers, sometimes the boilers come with a, a white putty. That putty is usually a 30 to 40% or even up to 60, 70% asbestos. Uh, there's also different asbestos that are more dangerous that if you put water on there, the water will not to knock it down. So just be very aware of, you know, what type of materials you're dealing with. If you suspect asbestos, don't touch it, uh, especially if you have kids in, in your family. Uh, you don't want to expose a worker or a child or, or, or you're breathing this stuff from years to come. All you're doing is you open your door, your dust is flying around your house and never you never get rid of it. So, best thing you do is if you, you take on a project, I see a lot of the do-it-yourself uh, projects all over TV and they're disturbing asbestos related items and I'm just kind of shaking my head here. I mean, like I, I do test, we tested probably 2,000 homes and uh, we could almost walk in a home and say, okay, blah, 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 yeah, that floor, that floor and so on and so on. So. Just be aware of what you're doing, uh, especially if you're disturbing large amounts of uh, material. Uh, if you suspect there's asbestos, you don't have a testing facility in, nearby, seal off an area, you know, wet it down, do what you have to do. But you know, ideally, you know, you cannot dispose of stuff. Once it's uh, removed from a home, it's called hazardous materials. So hazardous materials gotta be dumped to a hazardous material location or dumping site. So you better check your regulations. Every uh, province or state is uh, very, very uh, strict on what you're doing or what you're dumping out. Also, like you know, sometimes you see acoustic seal tiles. They're like a two by four uh, pattern with a T-bar ceiling. Some of those uh, are asbestos, some aren't, but they can be as high as 30 to 40 percent. So that's pretty common you see in homes. Uh, a lot of trowel on, like that Spanish trowel texture stuff. Uh, good possibility of being asbestos. Fake brick, like you see the fake bricks in rec rooms, it looks like a brick pattern and that could be, it could be the mastic, it could be the, the compounds between the joining of the bricks. Uh, I'm just giving a small example of what I come across that's pretty common here. But if you're removing any type of material, depends what it is, just be careful. Uh, sometimes you go in these attics, you see a gray material, usually it's a cellulose, a ground up newspaper, you're relatively okay. But there's also uh, one that's ground, similar looking to cellulose, but it's more gray. That is an asbestos. You got to be very careful. So, and when in doubt, you know, just do do a sample. Just protect yourself, your family, and you know, uh, you know, because like I say, uh, it's a percentages, right? Do people smoke? You know, some get cancer, some don't. But you know, it, it all depends on the person, their body, uh, how they their immune system is, and. Uh, if they smoke, if they smoke, the chances are higher. If they're younger, you know, the breathing rate's a lot, lot of, you know, higher. They breathe in more. So, uh, you know, just uh, take your precautions. Anyways, I'll do more videos later. I can show you more samples. But what I'll do is I'm just going to take a couple snapshots later of some of the samples I took just so you know what they look like in a bag. I'll show you a picture of the vermiculite. This is gold substance. I'll take that as a still picture after this video. Um, like to say, uh, there's nothing more asbestos that I see here besides possible plaster insulation, outside shingles, we know for sure. I mean, we're testing anyways, even though they are asbestos. It just uh, assures the homeowner that, you know, it is an asbestos product, but we know, I know for sure it's anywhere from 30 to 40% regardless. So all the best, this is uh, Tornado Demolition Limited here. We do environmental testing out of Vancouver. All the best, thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye. Yeah, hi again. I just want to show you this uh, vermiculite here just before. I'll give you a kind of a, I'll, sh I'll show you what I did here. Uh, what it is, uh, this material here, I actually double bagged because it's highly high risk flyable material. So what I'll do is I'll stick it in one bag. These are standard sandwich bags. So what it is, it's one bag and then I put it into another bag that's extremely clean. So there's no contamination for anybody and then there's no chance it's going to leak or nothing. It's double sealed. There's the outside shingles. There's your window putty material. There's some roofing materials with the underlay. Um, a lot of times there's multiple layers of roof. There's the plaster materials. Uh, also, I, I mentioned, didn't mention this deck here. Sometimes 
I never see it come back this type of deck, but you know, no one knows until you try. So, I mean, this deck, deck is you know, it's, it's just a rolled on type of a you know, a non, non slip type deck here. I haven't seen nothing come back yet, but you know, when you have a house that has not a lot of samples, a very small house, you know, I don't mind rechecking here and just to take you know, take averages out here. Sometimes I'll take them, sometimes I won't, but usually uh, I've never seen one come back yet. but you know, this is an older house here. I'm not saying this will come back, but I doubt it. But anyways, uh, this is uh, this is how it's placed out in bags here. And they're all sent to laboratories here. We use laboratories in Canada here, which uh, are very reliable and accurate. Uh, so, and we port uh, asbestos in Canada is a half a percent. Any material that's a half of a percent by volume will be an asbestos product. So. Uh, in the states, they report one percent or higher. So if you have a, a material like vermiculite, for instance, and it's under the half a percent, they say it's not asbestos. So well, but that doesn't work really make sense because that material is fine dust. Well, you could have a half percent here, you could have two percent here, one inch away, two inches away. You know, so it depends how you take the sample. You're taking the grain, or you're taking the your fluffy stuff. You know, you're supposed to take the samples right from the bottom, directly from the bottom, and that's where you get the fine particles. But anyways, any any asbestos, in my theory, in my mind, you know, any percentage will be asbestos. A half a percent is just, you know, determined by, by you know, like the laboratories. But if you can see it, you know it's over a percent. So anyways, all the best. This is Tornado Demolition. We're finished here, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.